Hello, my name is Andy Jones. I'm a professor of applied physiology at the University of Exeter in the UK, and I'd like to tell you today about our recent paper in the Journal of Applied Physiology about the physiological demands of running at two hour marathon race pace. The sustainable running speed during a marathon is a function of the sustainable oxidative metabolic rate, or VO2 of the runner, and their running economy, or oxygen cost, of running at submaximal speeds. Recently, there has been considerable debate about the physiological requirements of running a 26.2 mile marathon in less than two hours, a feat that was recently accomplished by Elliot Kipchoge of Kenya in an exhibition event in Vienna. Distance runners, including the Olympic marathon champion and the world marathon champion. They completed an incremental treadmill test to the limit of tolerance, either in Exeter in the UK or in Portland, Oregon, as part of Nike's Breaking Two marathon project. This exercise protocol enabled us to evaluate the runner's maximal oxygen uptake, or VO2 max, their blood lactate response to exercise, in order to evaluate the so-called lactate threshold, in other words, the speed at which lactate rises quite suddenly in the blood, and also their running economy or oxygen cost of submaximal exercise. These are the data. From, uh, from the study, one of the figures from the paper, you can see that on average their VO2 peak was in the low uh, 70s, about 72, but with quite considerable inter-athlete variability. The fraction of their VO2 max that they could run at without accumulating lactate in their blood was extremely high, on average at about 92%. And their oxygen cost of submaximal running was about 190 or so mils per kilogram of body mass per kilometer of distance run. So very impressive physiological credentials. In addition to the laboratory test though, we were able to measure the oxygen cost of running outdoors in these athletes at 21.1 kilometers per hour or 13.1 miles per hour, which of course is two hour marathon race pace. And of course, this isn't easy to do because most individuals are not capable of running at that speed and certainly not in a steady state. So this was a first. Now, interestingly, only seven of the athletes that we tested were able to attain a steady state when running outdoors at two hour marathon race pace. But the group mean oxygen cost at this speed was 191 mils per kilogram per kilometer. And that enables us to predict marathon performance and insert these values into models which predict marathon performance into the future. So the physiological requirements of a sub two hour marathon include a combination of a high VO2 max, a high lactate threshold, and a high running economy or a low oxygen cost. But interestingly, those values independently did not correlate with the best marathon time of the runners. It was only when those values were combined together in the equation that I showed you earlier in this presentation that their marathon performance was well predicted. And what these data also show is that for a 59 kilogram runner, running at 21.1 kilometers per hour requires an absolute oxygen uptake of approximately four liters per minute, or 67 mils of oxygen per kilogram body mass per minute. And this is really rather remarkable. Um, most individuals in the world cannot get close to 67 mils per kilogram per minute, even during maximal exercise. And these sublime athletes are able to operate that in a steady state for two hours. I'd like to acknowledge my co-authors on this study which involved a uh, fruitful and enjoyable collaboration between the University of Exeter and Nike. Thanks very much for listening and I hope you'll be encouraged to read our full article on the Journal of Applied Physiology webpage.